Film photography is to show your real life. When the camera shutter is pressed, everything stops. The sound you take makes you know you are just capturing moment of your life. Although many people think that the film is dying in this digital era, there are still lots of people who are keen on film photography. We are from different generations. We have so many memories related to film photography. Now, just follow us to feel the charm of it. Hi, I'm Brandon. What is fascinating for me is the process of film photography.、Uh, it's like buying a lottery ticket, and you win it, and you win a prize. And the thrill you get from it—it it is amazing. In your early days of learning film photography, you met lack of the skills and knowledge, and which is necessary for taking a well-composed picture. But that will change over time. My name's Stephen Dowling. A lot of the younger people who are getting into film photography、uh, are discovering is that、um, film cameras. If you if you look around at the, all the wonderful film camera models in the museum, it's almost like they want to be played with. They're they're really tactile objects. They have buttons and they have you know little handles that fit your、um, fit your hand, and they want to be interacted with. Because we're we're animals, we're you know we we respond to touch. That's one of our our strongest senses. I've been shooting film seriously for about twenty years. In the days before digital photography was、uh, mainstream, so、uh, film was still king. Getting into film photography completely changed my life. I can remember picking up my first proper、uh, SLR camera that didn't have autofocus. It didn't have big zoom lenses that that you used to get on the on the cameras in the early 2000s.、Um, it was an old East German camera that cost me 50 pounds at a shop、uh, that used to be around here.、Um, And I just loved how solid it felt. And every time you pressed the shutter, there'd be this loud clack. And、uh, it, it just seemed—it it was something that you wanted to interact with. Like you, you wanted to hold it and to like, you know, move the apertures on the lens and you know, wind on. It's. Photos taken by a film camera can stay with you for a long time, and they are hard to lose because they are printed on paper in a film, and you could keep them in your family photo albums. On the other hand, photos taken digitally on things like your mobile phones tend to get lost or accidentally deleted. I remember taking a, a picture for a, a project I've been doing since probably the mid 2000s,、uh, shooting bands when they're sound checking before a concert and shooting them on、um, black and white film. And they were doing a, a like a tour with another artist, and they had a really nice projections on the back of the screen behind them. I'd been taking pictures of the drummer and、uh, this guy Sam, who was sort of the leader of the other group who was playing with them. Uh, was tuning up his guitar, and then he walked in front of the projection. For a few seconds, there was just this light all around him.、Uh, it looked like something from a crazy art film.
The first photo I took were mostly shot on 35mm film and some in 6cm film and then I started shooting the full file and 810 film. In the process, I gradually began to feel the joy of photography and uh, in preparing a large format film like this, I spent two hours from beginning to end and to complete a film like this. So this allows me to get uh, fully involved in taking a well-composed image and also fully understand the process involved because it's a long time and you should not make a mistake to waste a film, it's expensive. When the roll of film that you send to the lab to be developed come back to you and you will see and learn where you went wrong and you would work around it to take better futures next time. It doesn't always have to be a film. Sometimes I also use a digital equipment. I have a Leica camera and I also use Dajiang's drone. Where there is a movement involved or if I'm diving under the water to take my shots or when I want to shoot landscapes, some mountains, some rivers, I could use my GoPro and my Dajiang drone if I find it suitable. So there's some benefits from using digital. One of the things I think is, is great about film photography, um, especially in this digital world that we live in, is that it slows you down. I said earlier that when you're taking a film photograph, that's all you're doing. They're not just lifting up a camera and going click, click, click. And I think there's, there's some real benefits um, to doing that, uh, being in the moment, appreciating your surroundings, not worrying about the text message or the Instagram notification and, and, and doing that act simply, you know, for the joy of doing it. The way I shoot film today is very different to how I shot it when I first got into it in 2000. What happened after that was obviously you, you had the sort of half analog, half digital process, which is when you took your films in, they would be burned onto a CD. And that, I think, is the best of digital and the best of film photography. And that enabled you to suddenly share these film images um, with the world via the internet. I think you regard them in a different way to looking at a picture on a screen. Um, we're, we're bombarded with so many images on, on our laptops or our tablets or whatever. We, we don't look at them in the same way that we look at a print. We don't give them sometimes the time they deserve. Uh, we just sort of quickly scan them and move on to the next one. I'm a young boy and I'm still new to photography and I'm still learning. But one thing that I'm certain about is there are many kinds of photographers as there are many kinds of people in the world. Many people use photography as a tool to express their world as they see it. So for me, my photos are always kept and presented as an album. It is also a diary of my life. It can show memories. I use this album to tell others that I enjoy the life. What film will need um, in the coming years is uh, we'll need new blood in all of the film infrastructure. So we need people to learn how to repair cameras, uh, know how to help build the equipment of tomorrow. We still have a lot of that knowledge left from repairers to uh, you know, people who were working in labs 20 years ago, who, who were still working in labs. A lot of the talented uh, camera repairers uh, are re retiring. They're quite old. My name is Creton. I started to repair cameras when I was very young. So it's become my profession the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. 
I enjoy. I mean, it's it's much more a hobby than a profession, you know. If you don't love it, you don't do it, you know. All my life I'm doing field photography. I don't like the digital stuff. And I started the underwater photography in 1966. And still I'm doing that. I start because I'm not so young like you, I start with the film. I start to develop, I start to print all my life with the negative and the transparencies, which means the slide. Uh, Bencini Fiametta, it was how many years ago? 1958, 59? 60 years ago. I was a kid, yeah, they gave me, they gave me an Italian camera. Dismantled the camera and I started to manipulate the mechanism. And I destroyed, of course. <laughs> I fix if it was broken. Now you understand why I into that. In the beginning, when, uh, when they show up, the digital cameras, they destroy the industry quite a lot, you know. But now it's slowly, slowly is making up. The same situation like the uh, CDs and the vinyls, you know. Yeah. To die? I don't think so. I don't think so. We were saying that thing a few years ago, but all of a sudden, if you pay attention, they start to come new film, new stuff, you know. We cannot tell that. We cannot tell, I mean, the film is gone away. No, not at all. who can help, you know, the youngsters, the teenagers who haven't shot film before, you know, give them tips, give them some expert knowledge. Um, had it been another 10 years, I think we would have lost a lot of the skill set uh, and the knowledge that will help film stay alive for another 50 to 100 years. Certainly, I hope to have more friends, more people in the photography community. And we can shoot together, we can make photo walks, and we can, we can find more stories and feel the charm of photography together. You know, we need people who love film uh, to just get involved. And um, you know, what I, I like to say when I'm talking to um, youngsters who are getting into film is that everyone who shoots film and shares it, you know, through Instagram or Facebook or Flickr, they should see themselves as an ambassador for film. <laughs>